Hi, this is SSA Group YouTube channel. Our company is an IT services and solutions provider that covers the full cycle of software development. In this video, we'll discuss the deployment approaches available today and determine which options are best for different business types. Let's start with a brief overview. These days there are three main options for project deployment. The first option is a bare metal or dedicated server. This is a traditional deployment approach and it allows you to use your own data center, rent space in a third-party data center, or rent a whole dedicated server. The second option is to deploy to the cloud. Infrastructure as a service and platform as a service are available within cloud computing services. You can also use your own mix of bare metal server and cloud environments. This is called a hybrid infrastructure. Now let's take a look at these options and highlight their pros and cons. Bare metal or so-called dedicated server. This is a computer specifically designed as a single tenant environment to host software products. Bare metal servers are highly customizable and offer stable and predictable performance reliability, security, and free direct access to the physical hardware. Bare metal is perfect for business intelligence or data crunching applications with extremely heavy workloads. Industries that traditionally rely on dedicated hosting solutions and co-location include the banking and financial services industry, healthcare, and government. However, bare metal servers require a big upfront investment to buy machines, license software and hire a tech ops team. They also lack flexibility and scalability. Scaling bare metal resources means buying and deploying new servers. Cloud computing Over the past few years, the number of cloud-based services has dramatically increased. According to the State of DevOps 2019 survey, 80% of companies use cloud platforms to host their applications or services. The main reason that more and more companies are shifting to cloud computing is to simplify their in-house operations. The greatest benefit of cloud technologies for businesses is that they do not require an in-house tech ops engineer to handle the infrastructure. Cloud solution providers offer various services and models to deploy software products. The primary models are infrastructure as a service and platform as a service. Infrastructure as a Service specializes in providing virtual IT infrastructure services or serverless computing. With this model, the client has access to the underlying infrastructure and full control over IT resources. Google Compute Engine is an example of this model. Platform as a Service is a ready-to-use solution for developing and running business applications and data. An example is Google App Engine, its underlying infrastructure doesn't require maintenance, allowing the client to manage only applications and data. Service providers deliver cloud computing services via two main methods – public or private cloud service. What is the public cloud? A public cloud contains multiple servers connected to a central server. Connecting to a public cloud is free via the Internet, using a shared resource pool. A public cloud solution provider maintains the cloud infrastructure, allowing clients to focus on core business aspects. Cloud technology is a cost-effective hosting solution that can be easily automated and scaled in the future. The client only pays for the units consumed and for the time used. Because its infrastructure is delivered pre-configured, implementation is easier and faster than on bare metal servers. However, the client has limited control over the infrastructure and no opportunity to choose service, middleware, and so on. The primary drawbacks of using public clouds are security and low-level performance, since multiple users share the same resource. Today, three public cloud service providers have the largest market shares – Amazon Web Services or AWS, Microsoft Azure and Google Cloud Platform. However, some providers offer private cloud services for enterprises and companies representing industries that cannot use public clouds. For instance, 
IBM, Dell, Cisco and Hewlett Packard Enterprise offer clients flexibility in choosing a cloud computing model and support multi-cloud software deployment strategies that are appropriate for most enterprises. What is the private cloud? The private cloud is the opposite of the public cloud. Its IT infrastructure is dedicated to a single customer with a firewall that prevents unauthorized access. For security, private cloud applications can be accessed only through closed VPNs or through the client organization's intranet. Companies can build their own private cloud on a bare metal server using virtualization technologies or choose IS services. This solution is preferable for companies that deal with strict data processing and security requirements due to high volumes of sensitive information. Dedicated clouds give clients full control over the virtual machines, data and configurations. Unlike public clouds, a dedicated private cloud guarantees high performance. However, using a private cloud is more expensive than hosting on a public cloud. This is why hybrid and multi-cloud strategies have emerged. The multi-cloud model uses two or more public cloud vendor services to lower the risk of cloud provider lock-in and achieve more flexibility in cost optimization. Hybrid infrastructure combines on-premises environments with public or private cloud environments. Companies can use private or on-premise servers for storing critical data while running less sensitive workloads in public clouds. Thus, the hybrid cloud model offers robust security. Combining private and public clouds ensures a high level of performance and system reliability and allows great scalability if necessary. It is also more cost-effective compared to the traditional bare metal solution or private cloud. However, managing several environments and providing data integration within a hybrid infrastructure is challenging. It is impossible without employing a DevOps engineer and adopting a containerization approach, which allows application deployments in a hybrid environment. Specialized cloud management platforms such as OpenStack, Azure Arc, and Red Hat Cloud Forms might also be needed. On the other hand, many multi-cloud solution providers offer paid services in orchestrating hybrid infrastructures. These providers include Rackspace, DigitalOcean, and Nexus. To summarize the pros and cons of each deployment option, we have created a chart considering important indicators such as security and compliance, technical involvement, infrastructure control, scalability, performance, and cost. An effective deployment strategy requires that you focus on your business needs, consider the budget, weigh future scalability needs, and ensure your DevOps team has strong expertise in the chosen infrastructure type. We recommend watching our video about DevOps engineers' roles and responsibilities where we discuss why tech giants integrated the DevOps approach into their development practices. According to Gartner, mistakes in cloud adoption lead to an overspend of 20-50%. To mitigate risks and maximize cost savings, consider SSA Group as an experienced IT consultant with strong expertise in cloud solutions. Please fill out the contact form on our website and we'll be in touch with you lightning fast. Be sure to subscribe to our YouTube channel Thanks for watching and see you in our next videos. Bye.